Welcome all, <clears throat> good evening. Uh, we thank the Lord for this day. The Sabbath has been so joyous and now we are in the first day of the week. Um, welcome, welcoming us to the presentation of today. Um, that is the skin diseases. Remember yesterday we tackled um, the hypertension. And uh, today we are going deeply into the skin diseases because these are, this has been area where many people ask questions and many people are affected. So I'm going to pray and then I get into the discussions for today. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to come before you as we are trying to go through that which you have uh, you've given us in your word, as well as the knowledge and skill you've given. We pray that it may be of help to the people who are listening and even those who are going to help others. Let your blessings be upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. So in this series of testimonials and healing, we've been going through what we've experienced and just trying to share knowledge. All these presentations are not to replace the uh, advice of the medical doctors, but it is to make us understand the principles of health as well as what we can do by our own self to help make us live a healthy life. So we have found that the only hope of better things is teaching and educating people on health principles, proper nutrition, regular exercise, plenty of water, and, and uh, proper rest, also uh, temperance, that is self-control, eating that which is proper for your body, and discarding all that are unhelpful to you. And then being in the sun, in the early hours of the day, in the late hours of the day, trusting in divine power, uh, visiting and helping the needy, praying for others, being cheerful and happy, living a stress-free life and basing or building your life upon the power of God and living in an environment that is healthy, environment that is not polluted, and purity of life, living a holy, pure, genuine uh, Christian is or are the principles of health that God wants us to uh, to participate in our practice. Then if we will go to this plant, the Bible says that uh, above all things, the Lord will desire us to prosper in our soul, in our mind, in our spirit. And that holistic growth is what God wants us to have and achieve. And the Bible says in Exodus chapter 15, verses 26, that if thou will diligently hearken unto my voice, then I shall not put these diseases that I put upon the children of Israel, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. And God is the one who heals us of all our diseases. These days we have many diseases that have risen because of not obeying the principles of life, the natural laws that keep our being in order. So we are going to discuss the skin diseases and uh, I'm going to go through uh, myriads of them, discussing and trying to share uh, some of the remedial agencies that I've come across and I've found working, and those that by principle we can apply in treatments procedures. Now, skin is a 
an elimination channel, the largest elim elimination channel outside the body. And when the diseases of the skin are manifested, it is because there is a blood that is not pure or your blood is having toxins and acidity and that causes a lot of inflammation, a lot of death of cells and death of, death of cells that brings uh, a lot of skin diseases that are manif manifested. So the last organ that will suffer or that will man manifest the health of the internal terrain is the skin. Most of the times when your kidney is affected, your liver is affected, your lymphatic system is clogged, your blood vessels are also clogged and your lungs are not receiving and working well, receiving oxygen and working well. Um, it is the skin will manifest that uh, death within the system. So uh, we must, learn how to keep our skin well, as well as the whole system, because the, the disease manifests itself in various forms. And if it manifests itself in the skin, it is a show of a certain organ or the whole system is in danger. So what we need to know is how to make sure that the body is cleansed. In all these programs or regiment of diseases that we have, we must follow the expulsion of chemicals uh, or toxins and rebuilding or reestablishing the right condition within the system. So we have, let's see, acne is one of the diseases that affects the skin. Acne is commonly located on the face, neck, shoulders, chest, and upper back. Breakouts on the skin are composed of redness, blackheads or whiteheads, pimples or deep, painful cysts and nodules. And this condition may leave scars or, dark, uh, or darken the skin if untreated. People of different colors can experience dark spots, of people of color, that is uh, those who are light skin, can experience dark spots known as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So acne affects the face, the cheeks, um, the, the back, the chest, and uh, always it will be manifested in small pimples or dots, depending on different, uh, on the type of acne that you have. It is an inflammatory disease. Uh, and uh, sometimes it can be manifested as papules. And papules are actually uh, acne that has some uh, small or some water-like, sap-like within those, uh, uh, those uh, uh, inflamed areas. Uh, sometimes they can be pustules and pustules are a little bit deep. They have pus in them. That is acne that has gone deep into the uh, dermis area, dermis area and actually affects the, the glandular structure. And then we have the nodules. These are the outgrowths uh, that a little bit have their root inside the subcutaneous region and uh, they grow very big like the nodules you know if you uproot uh, beans or uh, or peanut uh, plant you will see things like nodules uh, those uh, uh, those uh, substances that are swollen uh, and that is a disease that is caused as a result of, it may be hormonal imbalance, or it can be as a result of uh, uh, over regeneration or proliferation of the cells. There's excessive cell growth, abnormal cell growth that takes place. And once they have 
the cells have grown uh, abnormally, then they become benign. That is uh, still acne. There is an acne that uh, manifests itself in form of cysts. And that is an epidermal inclusion cyst. It means it is the cyst um, is the pus and some dead cells build up within the skin, inside the skin. So these are diseases that actually affect people between uh, age, uh, I think between 15 up to 20 or 30, 28 or 30, uh, mostly the people who are still young. And mostly it is as a result of hormonal imbalance. Some of the acne is as a result of reaction of the perfumes or lotions that we take into the body. Some of the acne is as a result of the uh, uh, putrefied colon, a colon that is not eliminating well. And so there is a lot of toxins within the system. Some of the acne is as a result of, uh, of autoimmunity or reaction to drugs, antibiotics, or uh, some of the uh, steroid, non-steroidal uh, drugs that we have over the counter. So we need to understand how to go about it. In fact, acne is one of the easiest skin diseases that you can handle because it just depends on the approach you're going to give it and how you're going to stop the inflammation, the swelling procedure and the death or the overgrowth of the cells. So what you want to do is number one, make sure that the, the body is cleansed by drinking a lot of water. Water will help to dissolve a lot of the cholesterols and also normalize the steroids between steroids between within the uh, within the system and and so I was uh, sorry to has been the power here. In, uh, in the acne, we are going to look at the cleansing models or programs that are going to help us to, to make the system to eliminate the, a lot of cholesterol and a lot of toxins and then build the dead skins. Because you know that generally the skin cells are able to uh, regenerate within 21, or about 30 days, the skin cells will be completely being regenerated. That is why it is the easiest and uh, the, uh, the, the, the quickest uh, disease that you can eliminate in your system after the, the gut. Uh, now, we were talking about the sun, uh, sunshine. It's very helpful to make sure that, uh, uh, to help with the conversion of the Calcitrol into vitamin D3 that will enable your system to boost the immunity and detoxify the blood. And also the calcium will be allowed to go into the cells and into the uh, tissues. And when, the, when calcium goes into the tissues and the cells, a lot of minerals like phosphorus, silica, uh, phosphorus, silica, calcium uh, are the most important minerals that your body needs or the skin needs most, mostly. So if you want to restore your acne, you make sure that the foods that you eat are rich in silica, in phosphorus, in calcium, uh, so that that synergistic relationship will help to restore a lot of, uh, of cells. Now you need to uh, to make sure that you are not applying lotions that are having, uh, that are having, uh, that causes histamine reaction or causes the bleaching of the body. More so the artificial lotions 
they always cause a lot of irritation and abrasions uh, and corrosion on the skin. So you want to use natural, uh, natural perfumes or lotions uh, on your skin to build and regenerate your skin. So one of the uh, one of the the remedies you are going to use to make sure that you do this uh, internal cleansing and outside cleansing. Number one, you make sure that you do a colon cleanse because most of the problems stem from a, a putrefied colon. So take senna, bentonite clay, psyllium ask, um, uh, let's say two, three parts of senna and then two parts of psyllium ask, two parts of bentonite clay, two parts of activated charcoal and uh, and then two parts of ginger, ginger powder, put in warm water and then take three times a day, two hours before the meal to cleanse, to clean your bowels. And then you have to get some good prebiotics to take after doing the, um, the, the colon cleanse. You can do high enemas with garlic. You take a bulb of garlic, put in, uh, in one liter of water, blend it up and then sieve, put in the enema bag when it is lukewarm and then do a high enema. That garlic enema, many people whom I have suggested for that have really experienced uh, great changes for their acne or any, any uh, problem with the, dam with, with the dermal system. They always experience changes after three days, you see, if they have the boils, if they have the cysts, the papules, the pustules, they will be drying up at the end of the third day. You need to be on a very high diet of fruits and vegetables. Take fruits that, that green leafy vegetables that are rich in vitamin K, that are rich in, uh, in, in calcium and magnesium, and also rich in most of the vital of the minerals that build the system and then take a lot of, uh, of, of, of fruits like cucumber, fruits like uh, eggplant, uh, fruits like uh, citrus uh, family, that is lemons, lime, um, and oranges. You need to take a lot of pineapples. They help your skin to generate very fast. Another food that is very important are foods that are related to, uh, that increase uh, the balance or causes the balance of fats and oils in your system that removes the high cholesterol. That is coconut. Be on coconut meal, or uh, you can be on Brazilian nut meal. That will really help you to actually regenerate the cells, they regenerate the cells very fast. Um, another thing to add into this regimen is being in, uh, 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 being in the sun when you have removed your clothes, just be on the sun when you are naked. It will be very helpful because the body will be absorbing the, uh, the vitamin D uh, that sunshine will convert the vitamin D in your system uh, into calcitrol that is helpful to go into the tissues. Now, note also that uh, you need to have some topical application, something that are going to help to feed the skin and also detoxify and regenerate the skin. So you need to get powders of turmeric and turmeric uh, put in, uh, in olive oil, get the powder of turmeric. For one cup of olive oil, put about, uh, about eight tablespoons of turmeric powder, and then let it warm a little bit for about three minutes. Let it not boil, let it just warm. And then you can apply that oil on your skin. Um, another, Topical application is using the garlic, get the powder of garlic, or you can just crush the garlic and uh, fresh garlic, that is, 
about uh, three baths of fresh garlic crushed well, and then put in warm olive oil, then apply on your skin. And you can also make a, a general topical skin uh, salve that is going to help to remove any, any skin disease. And this I've been using uh, the herb that is called pork root powder. Mix it with cat's claw powder and then mix with blood root powder. And then uh, you can get uh, baddock root and garlic powder. Mix all this together into about, um, you'll take about equal parts of all of those. If there are four parts, four tablespoons of oil, you put in about five mils of, uh, uh, of olive oil. And then you add about a hundred grams of uh, uh, hundred grams of shea butter or coconut butter, and let it warm for about five minutes, so that the herbs can be distilled or can be extracted to the oil. And then you put that in a in a glass bottle. Then apply that on your skin about three times a day. You make sure that you bathe and then apply it three times a day. Believe me, within three, uh, three to six days, you should be experiencing changes. Of course, you need to continue until all the signs and uh, symptoms are removed. You need to take herbs that are cleaning the blood and that is chaparral. Take equal parts of so chaparral, red clovers, echinacea, uh, Brigham tea, baddock root tea, and artemisia tea, and uh, artemisia leaves tea. This will be very helpful. You take about three cups in a day to clean your system and clear your acne within a short time. You need to balance your hormones with making sure that you sleep in time and also uh, taking foods that are rich in balancing the hormones like the avocado, ripe avocados. If you feed on ripe avocados for some time, it will be able to, uh, to bring good steroids into your system that will help to balance and remove any inflammation in the skin. Now, the next one that we have is psoriasis. And so psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune condition that causes the rapid buildup of your skin cells. This build up of cells causes scaling on your skin surface. Inflammation and redness around the scales are fairly common. Typical psoriatic scales are whitish silver and develop in thick red patches. However, on darker skin tones, they can also appear more as purplish dark brown with gray scales. Sometimes these patches will crack and bleed. Now, this is a kind of psoriatic uh, uh, skin, or uh, inflared skin. It causes you to, it causes you to swell and sometimes this, it itches and the skin peels off. You see uh, this condition. Now, this is, uh, number one thing that you need to do is to make sure that you clean the system following the procedure that we had for acne, and then use the topical uh, salve that we used of pork root, blood root, uh, baddock, artemisia powder, and, uh, and also uh, you can add uh, garlic powder, and then follow the procedure I've discussed but when applied on the skin, you can soak yourself in Epsom salt. Soak yourself in Epsom salt for about 30 minutes. Or another thing is to get neem decoction and apply it on the affected areas. Neem decoction is very helpful in drying out eczema, uh, eczema inflammations. And you can apply coconut oil 
coconut oil is very antibiotic. You can apply coconut oil mixed with turmeric to help you with the removal of, of these uh, inflammations. And uh, another thing that will help you is to take plantain tea. Plantain tea Sorry for the network. Um, let's try again. Um, that is the psoriasis I was talking about. I was uh, saying that we need to, to do a general body cleansing and the topical application. Uh, and also I was uh, saying about using the motor oil, the used oil applying it on the affected area. It is able to help dry out uh, those psoriatic uh, skin and then uh, make us to have a good skin. So you need to do this for three days and then after three days, you wash yourself and then you'll be beginning to apply coconut oil, shea butter oil and uh, applying black seed oil. That will really help you to restore the skin. Now, sometimes psoriasis is as a, as a result of uh, autoimmunity. So, if it is generally, if it is autoimmunity, you need to take a lot of pork root and chaparral and burdock to clean your system and regenerate your tissues and and uh, the chrome to make the uh, the chromosomes to function normally. Now, another thing is uh, eczema. Eczema is characterized by yellow or white scaly patches that flakes off. Affected areas may be itchy, greasy, or oily. On light skin, eczema can cause a red rash. This rash may appear brown, purple, or gray on darker skin. Air loss may also occur in the area with the rash. So this is the type, the, the eczema. Uh, you see they're whitish and they are always itchy. The best hub to use here is plantain. Uh, make plantain oil and apply on the skin as well as do a, a deep tissue cleansing and a colon cleanse using senna, uh, senna and plantain mixed together and taking guava leaves tea. This will also help with the eczema. Now you need to remove all the bad lotions and use natural lotions made from coconut oil or coconut butter, shea butter or shea oil and black seed oil, black seed oil, chia seed oil mixed with uh, some powders like pork root powder and then you apply on the skin. We have the melanoma and this is the most serious form of skin cancer, which is more common in people with light skin. It can appear anywhere on the body as a more that has irregular shaped edges, asymmetrical shapes, and multiple colors. In people of color, melanoma often appear in areas that are less exposed to the sun. It might also appear as a mole that has changed color or gotten bigger over time, which is usually larger than a pencil eraser. Now with this, you will apply the pork root and the blood root and um, pork root, blood root, and uh, how do you call the sour soap, fruit powders and burdock, just make them in, put them equal parts in with some hot water and then apply some coconut oil and clove oil, then apply it on that area. And internally, you need to take a, uh, you need to take tea of chaparral, baddock root, 
uh, uh, blood root and uh, pork root and lemongrass root. And then also the sour soap leaves. You take that tea, about four cups in a day will help to prevent the progression of, the, of this melanoma. And then you must make sure that you expose yourself in the sun, take uh, supplements of zinc, about 60 milligrams of zinc twice a day. You need to take about 5,000 units of vitamin C and about uh, uh, taking about 30 units, 30,000 units of vitamin D3. That one you'll be taking about, uh, I think about two tablets of uh, vitamin D3 every day. And then you must take calcium, magnesium, and, uh, and copper, uh, copper supplements. Uh, the herb that is has a, a lot of uh, copper is uh, chaparral. Chaparral tea has will bring a lot of copper into your system, and you know that copper restores the dead cells and also regenerate new cells in the body. And you need to take coconut milk and uh, Brazilian nut milk that helps to re regenerate the skin. You need to go on foods that are high in sulfur, like cruciferous vegetables, uh, that is broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, scales, mustard greens, arugula to help your body, your skin to regenerate. Take uh, herbs that are helpful in regenerating the new skin cells, like horsetail, horseweed, um, plantain, comfrey root, acacia leaves and uh, hock liver, couch grass and uh, oat straw. These are very beneficial for the skin and they make a lot, they make your skin to have a lot of silica, a lot of phosphorus and calcium. And uh, this should help you uh, very quickly if you are so, uh, if you are so determined and doing things rightly. Melanoma is a very dangerous and uh, very complicated disease uh, of the skin and sometimes difficult to treat. So you need to be very thorough with the loss of health and making sure that you trust in God in everything. Then we have the vitiligo that uh, causes the white patches in the nose, in the mouth, in the skin, it can be on the chest, on the back, on the ears. Uh, this is as a result of uh, maybe low melanin, or it can be as a result of autoimmunity or hormonal imbalances. So you need to go on a, a diet that balances your steroids and, and hormones. You need to take autoimmune formula that is made from pork root and uh, a periwinkle leaves Baddock, chaparral, plantain, and cat's glow. This will help you to regenerate the new skin cells. Apply good oils and lotions made from shea butter and coconut butter, as, as well as olive oil. Take guava tea always, and that will also help you to, to clean your skin and regenerate your melanin. You need to clean the colon, you need to be in the sun, you need to drink a lot of water and exercise and sleep in good time. Vitiligo is characterized by loss of pigment in the skin due to autoimmune destruction of the cells that give skin its color. Focal vitiligo causes loss of skin color in only a few small areas which may merge together. Segmentation pattern vitiligo causes the pigmentation on one side of the body. So vitiligo uh, is experienced with many people who are affected or having imbalance of the melanin, low melanin, and uh, some reactions that may be as a result of uh, autoimmunity or inoculation. Then you have lupus. 
Lupus symptoms include fatigue, headaches, fever, and swollen or painful joint. It can cause a scaly disc shaped rash that doesn't eat or hurt. Scaly red patches or ring shapes are most common located on the shoulders, forearm, neck, and upper torso, and worsen with exposure to sunlight. People of color have a greater risk of developing PIH and abnormal scaring. It also causes a warm brown or red rash that spreads across the cheeks and bridge of the nose like butterfly wings and worsen in the sun. So this is how it looks like. And uh, I had, recently I had uh, a woman who was having a problem with the lupus. And so I developed uh, an autoimmune um, an autoimmune formula that uh, was made up of pork root, blood root, tylosema, albizia. Uh, albizia is Persian pas silk tree and garlic and ginger extracted in DMSO and vegetable glycerin. And then when she took this for about six days, the lupus signs and symptoms were almost going away. So it is an autoimmune disease. So you need just to feed on a lot of dark green leafy vegetables, a lot of fruits, uh, moderate nuts and seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds to help regenerate the system. Your bowels bowel need to be working well. So you do a serious colon cleanse. Uh, you can do high enema using um, garlic or senna tea to help readjust the system. Take coconut milk um, and cashew nut milk that help to regenerate the skin cells. Apply, uh, apply a salves made from uh, salve made from plantain and, uh, and comfrey that has a lot of allantoin that helps your skin to regenerate. You need to take a lot of uh, vitamins, supplements, or food that are rich in vitamin B complex, zinc, chromium, and vanadium, uh, calcium and magnesium, and a lot of vitamin C. Uh, that will help your skin to regenerate. And uh, we have the alopecia, where you lose a lot of your skin, a lot of your air. It may be as a result of hormones or genetics, or sometimes it can be as a result of reaction from some drugs, chemotherapy or radiotherapy. So with this one, uh, mostly I advise people to use guava tea. You just make a, con a strong concentration of guava leaves and wash your, your hair with it. And then after washing, dry it out well with a, a good white cotton cloth and then uh, cotton towel, sorry. And then apply, uh, apply coconut and aloe vera gel, coconut and aloe vera, coconut butter and aloe vera gel applied on the skin daily for about uh, until you experience a change. Most of the people who apply, who wash their hair using the guava leaf tea has always experienced good results. Also do internal cleansing, colon cleanse, and taking a lot of vitamin C, a lot of nuts, milk made from coconut and uh, uh, coconut, cashew nuts, macadamia nuts, Brazilian nuts will help your hair to grow. Uh, you can also use tamarind tea to wash your hair and also uh, use the, the sap of the tamarind mixed with coconut butter and then you apply on your hair. Now, tamarind is very good in blackening the air. If you have any brown hair, you apply uh, or losing your air, you need to, uh, to use tamarind tea. Drink it internally. You can mix the sap or the pulp of the tamarind, the brown pulp of the tamarind with coconut and then apply it on your, on your hair and you will see your hair beginning to grow. 
coconut oil helps your hair to grow. And if you're losing, you're having falling of the hair, it will help you to regenerate very fast. If it is as a, refer, uh, as a result of cancer, you'll have to go on a cancer regimen and then uh, uh, stop the angiogenesis process and restore good cells and then uh, follow a good diet and your hair will grow back. It is very easy. Now, there are herbs that are effective for, single herbs that are effective for skin diseases, generally all skin diseases, be it wounds, be it acne, be it eczema or psoriasis. For instance, the leaves of senna, if you ground them into powder and mix with the, the butters, shea butter or coconut butter or olive oil and apply on the skin and take also the tea of the leaves in, it is able to regenerate new skin cells as well as remove a lot of parasites and worms within your system and help your skin to glow again. Even people with alopecia that we had just discussed, if you wash it, you wash your hair with senna tea, it is able to regenerate. Another thing is plantain. Using it as an ointment, making an ointment with it or uh, taking the tea and washing the, the affected area with this tea has always brought a good result. We have pokeweed. Pokeweed is so helpful in autoimmune diseases and most of these skin problems are as a result of autoimmunity. So what you need to do is make the root, uh, a teaspoon of the root powder in a glass of hot water and take twice a day and also mix the root powder with oils, a carrier oil, like coconut oil or chenut butter oil, and then uh, you apply on your skin. That one, if you use constantly, will be able to help your skin singly, uh, even if you are not able to get others. Horsewind is known to help with skin diseases, taking it internally, as well as mixing it in a salve or an ointment, uh, it helps to restore and generate the skin. For example, if someone is having a ringworm on the hair, if you scrub the, the affected area with the fresh leaves of horseweed within three days, any wart or any itchy area or ringworm should be going away. It is a good hub for parasites within the, the gut and helps to restore your skin cells. Aloe vera gel can be applied on any psoriatic skin or eczema or acne, and also taking it internally, it will be able to help you with your skin. And we have the turmeric, mixing turmeric with honey and olive oil. Uh, helps your skin to regenerate and to remove any pus and dry out any wound. So it is so helpful, even if it is taken internally to restore the skin cells. So that is all about the skin problems that we have today. And uh, I believe that we are blessed. Remember that we need to trust in, in God and everything that we are doing, we need to be patient and obedient to the principles of hell that God has given unto us. Let us pray and end the session. Father in heaven, we thank you for this time. May you continue to be with us and give us power and knowledge and skills that we may help those who are afflicted by various diseases. Above all, let us bring glory unto thee in everything that we do. For this humble prayer in Jesus' name, amen. Bye and be blessed until tomorrow when we shall be tackling women diseases. God bless.